medieval games one of my favorite genres and i'm assuming yours as well which is probably the reason you subscribe to this channel since the dawn of gaming people wanted to put themselves in the shoes of a knight to learn how to fight for honor and for victory combat and of course sword fighting is one of the most important aspects of these medieval games but what games do it best what games have refined their fighting and inspired others to do the same this is of course my top five best medieval sword fighting games of all time Now, as a quick disclaimer before we get into the video, this is just my opinions. I'm sure you're going to have some other ideas of what your favorite sword fighting games are. Hellish Court is an honorable mention that I'm going to put at the beginning because it's technically set in the 17th century, so I wouldn't quite class it as medieval, but the sword fighting in that game is brilliant. But perhaps I'll come back to that one in a later video once I broaden the scope. At number 5 we have Kingdom Come Deliverance, the first person medieval simulation developed by Warhorse Studios that released in 2018 and my was this game amazing. I still hop on it every now and then to go and play and just mess about with that combat. But the reason that it's not number 5 is because I don't feel like Kingdom Come Deliverance and its combat that came with it is so clear cut. It was one of those games that came out that people were quite confused at, that took some time for people to get used to. The combat in it is very polarizing, some love it, some hate it but at the end of the day as i mentioned this is just my opinion and i think it works great for the game it is in it has the four directional combat with the stabbing and slicing as well being able to parry and dodge between each attack from your enemy over time learning new moves that you can do in your jaws or your bigger battles but why is this at number five because i love the combat i know a lot of people do as well but i'm putting it at number five because i don't think it's that universal this combat works for Kingdom Come Deliverance and I think it will only ever work for Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's so one on one dual type fighting that any other game this just wouldn't feel right. But for what it does in the game that it's been implemented in, the sword fighting is incredibly satisfying, especially once you practice and you get better and better at the game. One of the downsides of it and one of the reasons that it is at number 5 is also because it is very much lock on target style combat. You don't have that free flowing fighting where you can go at any one you want and you're not locking onto each individual targets in this game once you find someone to duel it's you versus them and whilst it works well for the single player experience i don't think it would work well for the larger style battles that i think a lot of people want to see within kingdom come and that's why kingdom come deliverance is at number five Number four, we have Chivalry, a game that I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to involve on this list, mostly because it's quite old and a lot of combat has been done much better in more recent iterations and other games that have come in later years. However, I put it off, mostly because Chivalry at the time in 2012 was fantastic. It added this whole new era of first person slashing medieval combat. You felt the weight on the weapons, you felt it as you sliced through enemies' arms and heads, and it was so satisfying to use. And the main reason reason that I'm putting it on this list even though it is older and it has been surpassed in later years is because of the inspiration. This game inspired so many more games that came after it and I think that can't be ignored which is why Chivalry is number 4. Number 3 may be a surprise, and this is Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. You might be thinking, Resin, why have you put Bannerlord as the third spot? It's pretty good combat and you obviously love the game since you make so many videos on it and you'd be correct. But there's a lot of people that do dislike the combat and I kind of understand it. You see, Bannerlord expanded on Warband's combat in a fantastic way. I think it made it and tried to push it more towards the realism side with much weightier and satisfying fighting. However, it does feel different to Warband's. It's not quite as light and nimble. The moves that you're able to do aren't quite impressive and it does feel like there's a lot less fainting and skill and rather just bashing each other's shields. But that out of the way, I do really love Bannerlord's combat and in fact this might come as a surprise to many of you, I sometimes prefer it over Warbands. And this is down to its harder hitting nature and feel. It is way more satisfying than I think Warbands combat ever was, especially when it comes to getting those big hits with big axes on enemies' flesh. 
at the number two spot we have a game that came out in 2019 a game that i haven't made too many videos on in the recent weeks but i think it does deserve to be put on a list with the best medieval sword fighting games of all time and this is Mordhau. Now, you might wonder why I've put Mordhau on as well as Chivalry, and it's for the reason that I explained before. While Chivalry was the first of its nature and it inspired so many new games, one of the games it inspired was Mordhau, which took what Chivalry did and made it better. Many people may disagree with this, but I do think Mordhau's combat is way better than what Chivalry could ever do. It's so much faster flowing. It feels like you're a proper knight, fighting in duels and in massive battles. It doesn't feel clunky that sometimes Chivalry did. It doesn't have the four direction combat in the same way, which gives you more flexibility when it comes to fighting in different styles. Whether you're using a rapier with quick stabbing actions, or a sword and a shield, blocking and slicing to the side when you get the chance, or my personal favourite, using the Zweihander, going into battle, decapitating enemies, and of course using that lethal stab. I also think Mordhau expands way more than any other game have done in the past, especially when it comes to their weapon stances. You can use different techniques like the Mordhau Grift half-sorting, even throwing weapons, which adds completely new dynamics to the combat throughout the game, and I think that's what makes it so fun and what has made it so popular. But it shouldn't be ignored that Mordhau wouldn't exist without a game like Chivalry. Yet what it has taken from that game, it has only expanded upon and improved to no end. There are a few downfalls to this though, don't let that be missed. Chivalry had an issue with spinning and that has been taken over into Mordhau as well. Spinning to winning is, I think, the scientific term for it. and the number one spot. What is my best sword fighting game of all time? Of course, it had to be Mountain Blade Warband. You may be surprised that this is at the number one spot over Bannerlord, especially since I've already complimented Bannerlord and said sometimes I prefer over Warband, but I think Warband just had something different. I think it's the pedigree that puts Warband at this number one spot for me. It might not necessarily be the most up-to-date sword fighting, and sometimes going back to it after playing something like Bannerlord, it does feel kind of outdated and a bit floaty. However, it can't be ignored the pedigree of this game. Warband has to be number one. This is where combat started in medieval games. We wouldn't have got all these other games like Kingdom Come, Bannerlord, even to some extent something like Mordhau or Chivalry might not exist without the originals, without Warband band coming out and pioneering this new age of medieval combat and sword fighting games, making a genre for itself, and I think that's why it has to be at the number one spot. It's incredibly adaptable as well. Not only does this work with swords and shields and bows and crossbows, but it's also been adapted to work with muskets, with guns, with rifles, and somehow it still plays like Mountain Blade. The games that it's inspired, whole fast nations of war, war of rights, kingdom come deliverance, I could go on and on. And that is why Mountain Blade Warband, for me, has to be at the number one spot at the best medieval sword fighting games of all time. But please, leave your top five list in the comments. Would you include the same games as me? I know there are other games such as Toshima and For Honor that people stated that they thought should be in the list. However, I haven't really played those games all that much and I wanted to put in games that I knew very well. But please leave your list down below and I'll be sure to check them out. But leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, leave a dislike if you didn't. But until then, I will see you in the next one.